Hello everyone, this is Dantor Dante. You may know me from my personal blog, which is thedantor.blogspot.com, which is one of the security industry's most popular suite publications since its original start back in December 2005, where I managed to attack 5.6 uh, million page views since its original start, which is not bad for a one man operation. I'm currently one of the world's leading experts in the field of cybercrime fighting and threat intelligence gathering. Having actively pioneered my own methodology for processing threat intelligence, leading to a successful set of hundreds of, uh, hundreds of uh, high quality analysis and articles and research articles, published the industry's leading threat intelligence blog, ZDNet's uh, Zero Day blog, Down to Down to Find Streams of Information Security Knowledge blog, and WebBoot Set blog. Uh, with uh, my research featured in TechMeme, ZDNet, CNN, PC World, SC Magazine, The Register, New the New York Times, Cine, Computer World, and H Plus Magazine, uh, where I continue producing uh, threat intelligence and the industry's leading threat intelligence book, which is my personal down to down of the book, my Streams of Information Security Knowledge. Uh, my research has been featured at RSA Europe, Cybercamp 2016, InfoSec Europe, including several other undisclosed uh, locations, where I continue to actively produce that intelligence and the industry stating that intelligence blog, uh, which is my personal down to down uh, blog, my system information suite knowledge, where I publish a diverse set of, uh, where I publish a diverse set of hundreds of high quality research analysis articles detailing the malicious and foreign activities uh, of nation state and malicious actors across the globe. Uh, the primary purpose behind this training video tutorial, which is aimed at training and educating novice, uh, novice users in the field of law enforcement in OSIN, which stands for Open Source Intelligence, is to teach you and demonstrate to how to build your capabilities in the field of cyber threat actor attribution and, and OSIN for the purpose of tracking down more internet connected uh, infrastructure and eventually tracking down and uh, monitoring, in this particular case, an FBI's most wanted cyber criminal. Uh, for the purpose of this uh, case study, we will be uh, picking and uh, we will be visiting the FBI's most wanted cyber criminals on page, and we will be taking a close look at uh, one of uh, their most wanted cyber criminals, which is uh, Second Light Solutions, also known as Forwarders, which is a Pakistani based identity uh, based type of cyber criminal who recently got uh, their business sanctioned. Uh, uh, by the U.S. Uh, government, where we will be taking a deeper look uh, at, at the Internet Connect infrastructure. Um, let's start from the basics. Uh, one of the best uh, tools in your arsenal for uh, tracking down and uh, establishing a foundation for successful cyber attack to attribution campaign is Google. Uh, Google is the world's most popular and efficient search engine, which calls the web in real time for the purpose of providing you with the most up to date and real time database of cyber attack. Uh, attribution data and information for the purpose of allowing you to connect the dots and establish the foundation for a full-scale cyber attribution campaign against uh, basically any cyber attack actor, including cyber attack actors uh, that also include nation-state actors, in uh, following a basic methodology that basically everything that can be uh, found has already been found and is publicly available somewhere online, which is where Google comes in to pay for the purpose of allowing you to uh, search for and find actual threat intelligence and all things, including uh, cyber crime research information, which will get to assist uh, your cyber attack attribution campaign. Uh, basic principles and uh, tips that uh, utilize that you should utilize and using Google for open source intelligence research and cyber attack attribution intelligence include. I start from the basics. Uh, you should uh, always aim to search for everything that also includes quiz records, DNS records internet uh, address uh, records, domains, and uh, URLs. Uh, in this particular case, uh, let's uh, move on with the next uh, basic concept, which is how can all things be applied to people cyber attack attribution techniques, and uh, what are some, uh, what are the most often recommended all things techniques for doing uh, people attribution cyber uh, attack campaigns. Uh, there is a saying that people are everything in the context of tracking down Actual uh, the tracking down the, the actual two individuals behind a huge cyber attack campaign, including a malicious spam phishing and malware campaign that also includes blocking type of attack campaign. Uh, in the following uh, post, I'll walk you through my methodology for tracking down and, uh, and applying uh, law enforcement techniques for cyber attack attribution campaigns, which often uh, result in actual tracking down and exposing key individuals behind a huge cyber attack uh, campaign. 
for the purpose of this study, uh, we will find that there is no phone inside by criminals that actually attempt to track him uh, online and test of providing actionable intelligence on his online infrastructure and associate online activity. Uh, for the purpose of building a case so we can actually track him down and build an actionable intelligence profile on him. Uh, one of these uh, mm, guys in particular is uh, called uh, uh, Mujtaba Raza. Uh, who is sought uh, after by the FBI and is on the FBI's most wanted cyber criminals for his involvement in the four orders, also known as Second Eye Solution Stroke and Fake ID around uh, Pakistani apologies uh, based uh, selling franchise, where the best uh, we could do is offer practical management analysis on his online whereabouts, including the actual record infrastructure behind uh, his uh, campaigns. Mm, the first thing uh, we will, that we will do is to collect information from his company actually by actually using Google for the purpose of searching for the company's name and actually attempting to find the exact website URL address of his sole enterprise where we could then use the Internet Archive, including several other real-time historical who is uh, services to attempt to find out more about his online whereabouts and actual Internet-connected infrastructure. Okay, so... Uh, let's start uh, uh, from the basics. Let's uh, look for a second uh, solution on uh, uh, US government websites only for the purpose of finding out the actual um, inf information uh, in terms of finding the actual domain names uh, behind uh, this particular campaign. Uh, as uh, you can already see, we managed to find the actual uh, press release on behalf of the U.S. Attorney Office, which is uh, uh, very important for us, uh, where we could uh, definitely see the names of the individuals that they were is looking for, including their company name, which is called Second Eye Solutions, also known as For Others. Uh, uh, we also uh, just managed to uh, find out the actual domain name, which is secondtiesolutions.com, secondtiesolutions.biz, and, and forwarders.com, which is very important for the purpose of this uh, um, case study actual cyber attack attribution campaign, uh, where we will be uh, looking uh, forward to tracking them down. Here, are one of the, he, here is one of the individuals that's uh, behind this uh, campaign, with his business secondtiesolutions, solutions, also known as forwarders, that allegedly sold digital images of uh, false identity documents, including passports, driver's licenses, bank statements, and national identity cards, associated more than 200 camps and territories across uh, the globe. Okay, so uh, what we'll be uh, doing now, we'll be uh, taking uh, uh, a closer look uh, and uh, we'll once again use uh, Maltego for the purpose of establishing the foundations for successful. Uh, online campaign uh, tracking. Uh, wait uh, a moment. Okay, here are all the second high solutions domain which I managed to find using Scopa Source Intelligence by, by basically going to official US government uh, websites looking for this information regarding the company and the, and the individual that's being uh, uh, sought after by the FBI. What we'll be doing uh, next, and we'll be using uh, my employer, uh, who is uh, HML API's uh, uh, database, for the purpose of uh, trying to find out this inf information regarding uh, this group. Uh, now that we have uh, managed to find out actually who is hackers, we'll be looking for something that's very important. It's called the registrant uh, email address uh, for this particular campaign, which we believe. Uh, uh, that we can uh, track down and eventually associate with additional entities. In this particular case, we have already found a Gmail address uh, that's been used, and now we will be doing a reverse who is search for uh, the purpose of finding uh, all the additional related domains that are registered using uh, this email address. Unfortunately, there are none. We will be now going forward with uh, using historical reverse who is uh, search, which basically means all the historically registered uh, domain names. Unfortunately, we couldn't find. Uh, in here as well. So what we'll be uh, doing now, we'll be uh, uh, doing uh, the following. Uh, once again, using the same the original second uh, solutions, what we'll be now doing a historical who is hacker search, which is very important. And based on my pros database, which is uh, 
quite vast and uh, in depth and comprehensive. We will be uh, looking forward to finding our additional uh, domain. Uh, we will be looking forward to finding our additional email address accounts that are used uh, for the domain uh, registration of the actual individual in question. So by once again searching for the registrant email address, where we hope to find out uh, one of uh, the email address accounts used to register uh, these uh, domains. Here are the results. We will just have to wait a little bit longer. Now we can uh, uh, go to the circuits and attempt to find email addresses that are actually relevant to this uh, uh, case. We've uh, already found one, who is one of the, one of, uh, the email address accounts registered on, uh, on their uh, domain name which is using the forwarders uh, uh, .com domain name. Now we will be taking a close look at this uh, domain. Once again, by doing reverse uh, who is search to find out all, the all the related domains that are known to have been registered using uh, this uh, email address. Uh, okay, there are uh, some that we have already found. Uh, what's extremely important in this case is to know that uh, one of the, the primary emails uh, uh, that uh, that uh, has been uh, used to register the actual second uh, I, in this particular case forwarders dot uh, com domain has also been used to, re to register an additional set of domains which could uh, uh, with, uh, which uh, could come very handy in the process of uh, tracking down and actually finding out the two individual uh, behind these campaigns. And what we'll be doing now is we'll be doing uh, a historical uh, reverse uh, who is such. Uh, for this email address, so with the idea to find out all the uh, domain names that have been registered using it uh, throughout the years. Okay, so here are some that uh, we'll be looking uh, mm, forward to assessing uh, in this particular case. Uh, we've already found several uh, uh, domains. Now we're taking a deeper look at these domains to find out, uh, to eventually find out additional clues regarding the individual behind uh, this. Uh, uh, campaigns. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got a buypaypalaccount.com, uh, which is a domain which is pretty relevant to what these guys are doing. We already got uh, several other uh, type of domains, like a paypalaccount.com, uh, which is uh, something that uh, the guys uh, uh, advertise uh, for the purpose of uh, uh, ma making money and uh, attracting income uh, for their business which is something that's uh, very important. Okay, uh, I will be also uh, moving forward uh, with this particular case by once again emphasizing that it is still important to find the actual domain registered email address, which could then lead us and offer us additional clues for the purpose of establishing the foundation for a of cyber uh, attack or attack attribution campaign. It's also still important to find out all the associated domains with this particular email address in terms of domain registrations and for this particular case uh, we've been uh, using my employer's uh, who is HTML APIs uh, database uh, which I uh, sincerely hope that uh, you could uh, also uh, use for the purpose of uh, your research and analysis. Uh, I wanted to, uh, to thank you for taking the time uh, and effort to listen to this attending uh, video. I sincerely hope that uh, uh, you have uh, found the information in this uh, guide and tutorial relevant for the purpose of uh, doing cyber threat uh, actual attribution analysis. Uh, thank you and uh, goodbye.